when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. We had just one computer, so the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. W work hard like every waking hour, that if you, particularly if you're starting a company. And I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year. As the, uh, the other thing I'd say is, if, if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, the most important thing is to attra is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. Do everything you can to, to gather great people. I'd say focus on, on signal over noise. A lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. For example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. For, for any given company, just c c keep thinking about are these efforts that people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. And then the, the, the final thing is, is, is don't, don't just follow the trend, the most fundamental truths you can imagine, and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if, if something really makes sense or if it's just what everybody else is doing. If you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. And, and then I think that the final thing I would encourage you to do is now is the time to take risk. But, but as, you, as you get older, your obligations increase. And once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to, to do that before you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now, do something bold. You won't regret it.